When it comes to planning out music for your ceremony, we always start with background music with our company. We usually ask for a genre or an artist that you would like to hear before the ceremony starts. This music starts about 30 minutes before the bride walks down the aisle, and this will start your actual package time. From here, we'll pick out a song for the family if needed, a song for the wedding party, along with a song as the bride is walking down the aisle, then we will have a recessional song to end the ceremony. Many times clients will do like a candle lighting or a knot tying where you can also pick out a song for this time. When it comes to picking out music for your reception, it all starts with the cocktail music. During this time, we don't ask for individual songs, but either a list of artists or a type of music that you would like being played during this time. From here, we'll need a song for the grand entrance. When it comes to picking out music for dinner, this is another time that we usually ask for a theme or a specific artist that you would like. From here, we'll move into the special dances where we allow our clients to pick out a song for the first dance, the father-daughter dance, and the mother-son dance. You will also have the option to choose how long each song is being played. Sometimes people might pick out their favorite song that is five minutes long, but they only want to be on the dance floor from one to two minutes. If you're having a tough time choosing songs for any special event or the dance party, listen to our website. We've created a bunch of different Spotify lists to help you choose a song. This is not our music library, but just an option when you're struggling to pick out songs for your wedding. When it comes to picking out music for the overall dance party, this will be a combination of my personal choice of what songs I feel will work best for the type of guest along with your request. I have some clients that pick out only a couple of songs, other clients that use up all 25 songs. In our planning forms, you can either link a Spotify list or you can type out each individual songs. I have some clients that pick out all 25 songs, and then I have some clients that only pick out a couple requests. When it comes to my personal choice, I like to play high energy music where 80 to 90% of your guests should know the words to sing along. Throughout the wedding, we will take requests. If a song is questionable, I'll get the approval from my couple. When it comes to the dance party, we will mix and blend songs together as we are a DJ company that doesn't just have the ability to play songs one right after the other. When the time is appropriate, this can help elevate your event and bring a higher energy to the dance party. Before getting to your wedding, in our planning forms, we like to know what ethnicity is going to be the majority of the guests at your event. So that way when we get there, if, if it's a big Spanish crowd, if you guys are Irish, if you guys are Indian or Arabic, what this does is allow us to create a playlist and gather songs that's really gonna be catered to the guests that are there. If you want a good dance party and a good wedding, you want to make sure that you include everybody that's going to be at your wedding. So this will help us get everybody involved, engaged, and just have a better event.